Shares of Beyond Meat under pressure today after rival Impossible Foods announced it will be selling its plant-based meats in Walmart stores nationwide. The addition of Walmart's over 2,000 stores brings Impossible's total retail locations to more than 8,000, though Beyond Meat can be found in some 25,000 locations. Joining us uh, for more, Impossible Foods founder and CEO Pat Brown. Pat, good afternoon to you. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. I'm very happy to be on your show. Uh, and, and no doubt uh, even happier to, to have this news uh, to bring us on the show that you're you're in uh, 2,000 or so uh, Walmart stores. How significant a step is this for you? Oh, it's a big, it's a big, very significant step for us. As you probably know, Walmart is uh, the biggest uh, food retailer in the world. Um, it is um, it has a huge presence. It's 90 uh, percent um, of the U.S. population lives within a mile of a Walmart store biggest meat seller, uh, biggest seller of meat in the U.S. So um, it's exactly uh, the kind of partner we want. And they're also very, uh, in many ways, aligned with our mission. They've, they've made a huge uh, emphasis across the business on sustainability, and I think uh, it's really good. We uh, we mentioned uh, your rival, Beyond, obviously, already uh, in, in a lot of Walmart stores. Uh, are there any rules of uh, engagement uh, in terms of exactly where yours will be placed in stores? Will they be branded together as, as alternative meat uh, products uh, or separate uh, their terms and conditions on that front? And there, we don't set any terms or conditions on uh, where our customers put our products. As it happens, Walmart is going to be selling them in the fresh meat department. Um, we know from a lot of data from other stores that that's where they sell best, that more than 90% of our customers uh, are current meat consumers and the majority of their purchases come at the expense they would otherwise have been buying meat from an animal. So we want to um, be where they're looking for meat and, um, and that's where Walmart is placing it. As far as uh, Beyond Meat, we don't see them as a rival. Uh, we wish them success in what they do. They're on the same mission that we're on. The only rival we care about is the animal-based meat industry. So Pat, we've seen all sorts of grocery categories explode during the pandemic as people are eating at home. What have you seen from the consumer for, for your product? Are they new buyers? Are they repeat buyers? What sort of trends are happening as a result of this huge consumer shift we're going through? That's a really interesting question. I wish we had more data about it. What I can say is that we're definitely seeing uh, a significant uh, population of first time impossible buyers, both in retail and food service. It's because we don't have the control data, so to speak, I can't say how much of that is driven by COVID. But we also know that um, more than uh, that, a majority, more than 70% of uh, consumers who buy our products for the first time become repeat customers. And 90% um, of them are, are omnivores, they're current uh, meat consumers. So. Um, I think we're going to see more and more um, with the disruption of the, the meat industry, more first time buyers uh, that um, are, are looking elsewhere for their meat. And, and as I said, it's very sticky. A majority of them become repeat customers. So it's, it's kind of like the more we sell, the more we sell. Where are we, Pat, uh, with the, uh, the new pork product, fake pork product? Oh, interesting question. Um, we have an awesome, uh, I wouldn't call it fake pork, it's, it's pork made from plants, but um, it's, um, we haven't announced a commercial launch for it. Um, uh, the product is, 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 is great. We've done some tests uh, with chefs and other markets, but we haven't announced a date to launch it commercially yet. Pat, what's going on with Burger King? Because we heard initially sales were really strong when you rolled that out, but then they apparently slipped pre-COVID. What can you tell us about what's happening there? Well, the, the um, sales are very sensitive to, uh, you know, um, Burger King does a lot of um, uh, promotions and, and um, various things like that. I would say our, our sales at Burger King have been very solid through the whole COVID um, uh, experience. It's been very, very successful for Burger King, very, very successful for us. Um, and, um, you know, we have a great partnership with them. Pat Brown, hope to have you back soon. Thanks for joining us.